So today we're going to talk a little bit more about the paddock sand that we put down that keeps the hooves for the donkeys very, very dry and very, very clean. We have to do some chores around here first. We have to get them some more hay, clean up, uh, ow, oh, you're not biting me, are you? You don't have those teeth on me, do you? Get those teeth off me. You, did you have them teeth on me? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? You just got them teeth on me? Get those teeth off there. Thank you. That's a very good boy. That's very nice. Let's try it one more time, okay? So today we're going to talk a little bit more about the sand that we put down in their paddock that works so wonderful. It's called Manufactured Sand. It's a really great product to keep their hooves nice and dry and clean. So we're gonna do a little bit of work around here, give them some hay, give them some water, then I'm gonna pick their feet and we'll show you the bottom of their hooves and how clean and nice this material makes it for them. So come on along. Oh boy, I'm so lucky. I, I get to scratch a butt and kiss a face. What a great thing. What a great thing. Come on, Sadie. Sadie, come on, girl. Here you go, sweetheart. Here you go. There's some more hay over here. Come on, Steven. Come on, girl. Come on. Are you doing a poopy? Are you doing a poopy? Yeah. Oh, God. Are you doing a poopy right there? You had to stop and wait for a poopy? You do? Are you all done? Okay, come on. Come on over. Not over here. Okay, we're right here. So one of the things I didn't talk about in the last video when we were talking about the uh, dry paddock is how great this is for the donkey's feet. When we first got Sadie, she had a very bad case of white line. And um, between the diet that we've given her and the dry paddock, it was totally cured in a matter of three or four months. And uh, her hooves look really, really fantastic. So we're just gonna pick them out today. Very cold out here today. I'm about to die, and so are they. It's uh, very, very windy. But uh, she's a really good girl. She's very good about having her feet picked. She uh, 
loves to put all of her weight right on me when I do it. So you can see what I what, what I get to do. Give me this foot, baby. Come on, girl. Yeah, a girl. You can see how beautiful her feet are. I'll give you a nice close-up of this. She doesn't mind having her feet picked at all. She's very, very good about it. She puts uh, just about all of 140 some odd pounds that she weighs on me right here when I'm doing this. But she doesn't mind it at all. She's very, very good about it. I tickle her feet once in a while with the, uh, with the brush. But you can see just how beautiful that foot is, how nice and clean the sand keeps it, how easy it is to pick out. Very, very easy, very, very clean. Looks very, very nice, see? No more white line at all. She's a good girl. There we go, a little bit better. A little bit easier. I got gotcha. you. I'll take it easy. I'll take it easy on the foot, okay? I know sometimes you don't like it when daddy's picking in there a little too hard. Yeah, I'll take it easier. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I won't hold you too hard. Hold still. Hold still, you're knocking daddy off balance. Dad, a good girl. Dad, a good girl. I gotcha. I gotcha. And you can see how beautiful that foot is. Beautiful, beautiful shape. Good girl. Pick up all the poops. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this one's a little more full. This one's a little bit more full with poopies. We'll get it all cleaned out. You're a good girl. Very good girl. Very good girl. See how beautiful that foot is? Absolutely gorgeous. What a good girl. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. There we go. Nice and clean. Good girl, what a very good girl. You're such a good girl. You are. You are a very good girl. Pick up all the pizzas and call it a day with you. That's my good boy. Come on. Come on. I'm going to bring you right up here and tie you up, okay? Right over here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. What a good boy. Good boy you are. Hey, but you're gonna do some feet, okay? Daddy's yeah, gonna do these feet. Ready? Daddy's yeah, gonna do this one. Daddy's yeah, gonna do this one. Give it up. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, look at these beautiful feet. Look at these beautiful feet. Look at that beautiful foot. Oh, it's just beautiful. What a beautiful little foot. Yeah. 
What a beautiful little foot you have. Mm-hmm. What a beautiful little foot you have. Look at that foot. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Oh, oh. Lost your balance. Come here. I don't know. Give your foot. Let's show everybody how beautiful it is. Okay? Come here. Hold on. See how pretty that foot is? All right. Okay, what a beautiful foot. Thank you. Look still, give me his foot. Give me his foot. Stop. Gotcha. Okay, beautiful foot, beautiful foot. Stop. Stop. Gotcha. Good boy. Stop. Stop. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, whoa. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Where are you going? Take a look at this one. Take a look at it. Good, see? See how pretty it is? See how good it is? Daddy didn't hurt it at all, see? I didn't hurt it at all, see? Huh, you big baby? You're such a big baby. You are, you're just such a big baby. You are, you're just such a spoiled brat. You are, you're just so spoiled. What a good boy. What a good boy. All right, there you go. Then go back up and get your, get your head. Oh, you're gonna lead yourself with it? You're gonna hold yourself? Okay, come on, let's hold yourself. Hey right, boy, hold you some hay, come on. Patty helps me most of the time when we uh, pick the donkey's feet. A little harder to do by ourselves. And he's not as used to it. She's pretty good about it. Um, he's not quite as used to uh, having his uh, hoofs picked without both of us doing it. I usually hold him and Patty picks his feet. So it's a matter of just getting into practice of doing it by ourselves. You know, God forbid either one of us can't help the other when the time comes. So. They've got to learn to uh, trust this, which they're, they're pretty good about. So that's their feet picking. Uh, like I said, uh, we didn't really go over that very much when we talked about building the paddock and using the manufactured sand and how we laid it all out. But the other real good factor about having this manufactured sand is, is how good it is for their hooves, how easy it is to pick out their poops. What happens is, is that the sand just seems to kind of work at the poop that gets stuck in their foot and it just makes it very easy to pick it out because their feet are always nice and dry. As we said, Sadie had a very bad case of white line from when she came. Uh, they had very, very wet conditions there. She was not on a very good diet. So, you know, us getting her and getting her on the right diet was the most important thing. And then, because um, she was nursing at the time with, with Bart. Bart was only three months old when when we got them, he's still nursing. <laughs> he's nine months old, still nurses every once in a while. She lets him, we figure uh, she'll sooner or later wean him completely. Um, 
we'll wait and see. Uh, we'll see what happens. We've heard different stories as to whether you need to wean them at six months, uh, whether she'll do it naturally. We figured in the wild that she would just naturally do it. So we're going to just let it, you know, run its course. They get along well. Uh, she's really teaching him about being a good boy, um, which is uh, really, really good. He is. He's a very, very good boy. He's very well behaved with us. He drives her totally crazy, as you'll see in, in the uh, in the videos of them running around him, biting on her and jumping on her. But she does the same to him, and I think she's teaching him well. She's doing a good job for a single parent bringing up a little boy. She's doing a wonderful, wonderful job. So uh, now we're going to uh, give them their grain. Um, we give them triple crown light, and the main reason that we do that is to supplement their minerals and their vitamins and their probiotics everything that they need. They don't get it all from hay. They have a white salt block. We obviously give them a ton of water. They eat an orchard grass hay. So they're going to be light on the minerals and supplements that they need for their you know, best health. So we give this to them only a couple times a week. Whenever we pick their feet, the treat right after picking their feet is that we give them some triple crown light, which uh, again, I, you, know, you can look it up and, and look at the analysis. It's very low in protein very, very high in the mineral contents that they need. So um, we'll show you, you know, feeding them and how we mix that all up. So this is what we do. We only give them a half a pound of the Triple Crown Light and they share it between the two of them. So put that in a bowl. We've got a little bit of a mixing jar here. We only take a quarter of a teaspoon of molasses just just enough just to give a little bit of a flavor so just one little drop so all we got and then what we do is we mix that with a lot of really warm water I'd say probably about three ounces of water, warm water. And then we mix that into the food to get it nice and wet. Thank God for this basement kitchen that we've got. Can't wait until the day comes that we finish our tack room kitchen. Uh, hopefully we can get that done over the summer sometime. We have to go quite a distance to be able to walk down to the basement here of the house in order to mix up their food and stuff. Having the uh, tack room will be a uh, great thing someday. So then what we typically do here, excuse me, coming in close, sorry, is we dish it out into their bowls, their bowls, their little feed buckets. What I have to do is give Bart a little bit more than Sadie only because she has a tendency to finish first. And then she goes in and moves in on him. <laughs> so uh, what we do is try to even it out as best as possible and then give him a little bit more. Because uh, she goes over and steals it from him anyways. Let's go give him some food. I've had a lot of folks ask me if having clay as the base underneath the sand makes a difference. So I thought I'd kind of answer that question a little bit. As you can see here, here's the clay that we have, the red clay that we have here underneath this in Tennessee. I only had a little dusting of sand on this, and you can see that this still stays pretty firm. Obviously, their hooves can still get into the, the mud here a little bit. And I'll also show you some of the other areas where it's a little thicker. So in this area, it was only maybe an inch or so thick, as you can see. And what's happened is it started to work its way down into the mud a little bit. 
but it's still very, very dry. It's still very, very um, sturdy. Compacts really well. You will get their hoof prints in here, as you can see. And here's the mud. Now what's happened is that over time, the sand over here has gotten thicker. And as you can see, the different color of the sand here versus up here, what's happened is, is the mud has kind of worked in with the sand and it's still very, very dry and still very compacting. So it's just a matter of raking it back out again, which I haven't had a chance to do recently. But as you can see, that compacts very, very hard again. Once you get a good heavy rain on this, what happens is, is that you'll find, you'll come out the next day and you'll see this, where everything has leveled itself back out again. And it looks nice and smooth and nice and compact. A natural heavy rainstorm will level this all out again and compact it again. So you don't really need to worry about having a clay base as part of uh, your paddock. If anything, it's probably very good because it makes it very, very sturdy. Other folks have asked me whether or not you need to rake off all of the topsoil. I would say that you might want to take a good portion of that off to make sure you don't get any more growth up through there, or you may want to try to treat it and kill it or something like that. But, you know, when we did this, it was part of the woods. So we took down stumps and trees and raked out all of the leaves. And we didn't really pick up a lot of the topsoil underneath it, um, but we did take up some of it. Because as you can see, there's still quite a bit of clay here where I raked it all off. So you can see the clay that's there. So again, I hope that answers some of your questions. Uh, I appreciate it and uh, keep bringing them on. If I can help any way, I'll be more than happy to help you any way I can. I don't claim to be an expert, but if I can help, I'll surely, uh, surely try. So one of the things that we talked about <clears throat> was that we don't want to feed them on sand directly. So we put the rubber stall mats in the daytime donkey dugout. And what we have to do periodically is come in and sweep up any of their hay and push any of the sand back to where they have, where they have a tendency to go to the bathroom. And one of the things I don't like about these particular stall mats is, is that they have a raised round pattern and they collect everything. It collects the poop, it collects everything. Um, they're not as nice as the ones that we'd gotten before. So what we have to do is keep some sand on the back side of this so that when they do their poops on here, it's very easy to clean up. So we keep the sand from their eating area here in front and keep sweeping it back. And then we put their buckets in here to feed them. So what we do is feed them in these big buckets. And we just put the carabiner on a hook just to hold the bucket in place here because they have a tendency to drag it all over the place. And that's it. They're ready for some food. You coming over? Come on. Come on, get some hay. Daddy's got fresh hay for you. I got fresh hay for you. I do. Can I clean that face first? Clean his face. Leave that little boogie on the eyes. Okay, fresh hay. Here you go. Come on, see her. Here you go. Oh boy. Well, let's try number three. So today, folks, we're going to talk a little bit about the dry paddock sand that we put down for our donkeys. I don't like that one either. Let's try number four. Ready? So today, folks, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the dry paddock sand that we put down for the donkeys. Got to do some chores around here first, get them some hay and water. Maybe Maybe clean up a little bit. We don't like that either. we do number five. we do number five. You guys are helping a lot. Oh, say, no, no, I'm going to go over in front of the camera. Let me go knock the camera down. Go over and knock the camera down. See, Dad, it took you too long. It took you too long, Dad. It took you too long. 